right, second grade, it's time for painting techniques. So if you notice, I already have down here painted. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, because this is going to take a while to dry, is we're going to work on the outline and fill in. The outline and fill in is how we're going to wind up painting our entire painting. We're not going to use any pencils on it. We're just going to use paint. So you're going to get a light color, a yellow, a white, something like that. And you're going to draw whatever you want in this section. Doesn't really matter to me, as long as it's school appropriate. It's fine. You just do a light coat. Really thin. Not filling it in, just doing the outline. And we'll wind up filling it in later on. So, that's what I have done. And now I'll let it dry. So now we're going to go back up here, we're going to do long, short, curved, and straight. This is talking about different types of line style. Oh, also, we have our water bucket, so I just wanted to wash out my paint. This is our water bucket this year. So if I tilt it to the side, you can see those little ridges in there. And that's actually where we're gonna scrape our paintbrush up against so that we can wash out our paintbrush and get all the paint out of it. We're gonna keep it down in there. We're not gonna flick it. And notice this bucket is only about halfway full. So we're gonna wipe it off on the side, not flicking the water at all because no one wants dirty art water on their painting. Make sure when you are rinsing out your paintbrush, you are holding the water bucket. So we're going to come back and we're going to do long, short, curved, and straight lines. When you are getting paint, remember, hold the paintbrush on the handle grip. You're not trying to get any paint in the silver part and keep all of the paint on the hair. Then pick it up, just a little bit of paint, go back down, and you're practice doing long lines. You can practice doing skinny long lines, or you can practice doing medium size, or the biggest you can make them, long lines. Then we're going to practice short lines, and the long lines don't just have to be straight. In the short lines, we're going to practice making skinny, medium, and big short lines. They can go in different directions, whatever you want. All right, our short lines. Next are the curved lines. These, again, can be skinny. They can be big. They don't just have to be wavy curves. They can be zigzag. They can be C's and 3's. Whichever works. <clears throat> and just like long, straight might be mini straight lines, maybe straight lines that go over each other in different directions. Just remember, when you start to run out of paint, it's not like a pen. It's not endless amounts of paint. You have to come back and you have to get more paint. So we're doing some different, you can kind of have fun in your straight line section. All right, we're going to skip outline filling because it's not quite dry yet. Actually, you know what? I think I can make this happen. So we're going to go over what you have painted. And you're going to make sure that you don't see any of that underneath color. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to paint directly on top. And I'm going to fill this in. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Notice throughout this whole thing, I only used two colors. You should only be using two colors for your whole thing. And then I can fill in over there when I'm done. And the last thing I'm going to do is overpaint. So I'm wiping out, <clears throat> washing off my paintbrush, blotting off my paintbrush with extra water, and then over paint. Means that you're just going to paint details on top of another color. They can be different types of line, they can be different shapes, whatever works for you. But alright, so first grade, if you have any questions, let me know. Put these are your painting techniques.